work on so many things with you, specifically a lot of short form stuff, but we now gotten into more narrative stuff. And then, you know, you might be actually being a talent of KeyTV soon, developing our other idea. But I want to start back at the beginning. What made you get into filmmaking? I think like every kid watching a, like an action movie or a superhero movie, it's like, like I want to be swinging through the through buildings. I want to be the one flying. I want to be the one defeating bad guys and stuff, you know? Yeah. And the closest thing to that, I feel like, is filmmaking for me personally, whether it, or just being in the, the industry, you know, whether it's like acting or shooting or having some sort of involvement in that, you know? So I, as a kid, that's what really inspired me to do so, you know? What was your first experience of picking up, you know, a, a camera? So my dad, uh, used to be a wedding minister. He used to film his own weddings. And he used to, like not, like, he used to film him doing the weddings. <laughs> and he had this fancy camera at his house, or my, our house. <laughs> my dad lived yeah, next door. Yeah, my dad, yeah. <laughs> he wouldn't let me inside. Um, <laughs> he, he had this fancy camera at the house and he told me not to play with it. He told any kid not to play with something, they're gonna play with it. <laughs> but my dad noticed that I like, like playing with the camera and for my 10th birthday, I got my own camera. That's what kind of sparked me, like just like a camera plus the internet, just kind of like figuring stuff out, filming my action figures, filming myself. I'll look at the tutorial, like how to teleport, how to shoot lightning bolts out of your hands, you know? And then for my, one of my, I think the 11th or 12th birthday, I got a green, I asked for a green screen for my birthday. And then just being in my room by myself and just kind of figuring it out, just kind of like, all right, this is probably what I want to do, you know, at like 12 years old. What was that progression for you from getting the camera, you know, learning about the editing. What was the journey from that to where we are now with TikTok and all this other stuff? I got on YouTube, like not was a YouTuber, but I like started going on the website around 2006. And I would consider myself a, a little bit of an internet historian, just cause I just seen like the progression of the internet over time yes. and how things evolve and the different types of personalities that blow up and the ones that go down and then like different types of platforms, you know. Uh, when I was 15, I downloaded Vine. You know, I'm just like studying that for a bit and I saw some success with the app myself. Seeing short form content in that way and seeing how people translate six seconds into comedy. Yeah. You know? Like storytelling. How, 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 story how, how do you be funny in six seconds, you know? And now everything is about how to be funny or entertaining in the least amount of time as possible. Yeah. You know, because Do you think it's the challenge of that that you love so much? Or the humor of it? Maybe all of it. Oh it's I wouldn't say the internet broke my sense of humor. You know, but it really isn't what it used to be. You know, it used to be like build up, build up, build up, build up pun, you know, and then like, you know, get a big laugh. Now it's just like a piece of toast, like in the microwave circling around. It's like a crazy <laughs> song. And it's just, and the, like, it's just funny. Like, all right, cool. Yeah, it's really random. I, there was a, an account on Vine called Bread, and it was just bread for like six seconds. And then it, it got like, like millions of like followers and stuff. And then that spawned accounts called Pickle. Yeah. And it was a pickle or an egg, and it, it, but stuff like that, you know, like what what makes it funny? We're always talking about that, especially always. when you think about Gen Z, millennial comedy, individually and collaboratively. It's like it's irony on top of irony on top of like just some random dark shit that you don't even know why. Yeah. So how do you learn how to process that and still keep the kind of like randomness of it all? You know, what I mean, because it's kind of your job. You know, you're, you're hired by. I mean. You've worked with Sweetie, uh, Chris Brown, Kiki Palmer. Um, the list goes on, like a lot of, you know, you know, really cool talent that you kind of introduce this form of storytelling to. How do you stay on top of it at the same time, you know? The way I consume content myself, it's always through like the lens of like, all right, well, how can this help the next person I work with? You know, it's like, you know, there's times where I mindlessly scroll, but sometimes there's like this filter turned on in my head where it's like, all right, this is what's viral, or this is this is what's happening. How do I, like, I'm always thinking like, all right, how do I pitch this, or how do I, it, it's always in, on the back, right? But it's always, ever, always changing. You see the trends, mm -hmm. you see the viral moments, you find things that interest you, and then how do you know what talent to pitch it to, right? Because every, every talent style is different from, you know, it's not gonna be the same as the content that's popular. So how do you know to gear what towards who? It's depending on the type of thing that's viral, you know? Like I wouldn't pitch like a, a makeup transition with Chris than I would with like <laughs> you or Sweetie or whoever, you know? It's, it's, it's that type of stuff. Or if like meeting the person, knowing that they understand that type of humor. Yeah. You know? You've worked with me personally, but then now you're also working with KTV. We're excited to develop a show and a concept around you and Sean and all the amazing work you do. Like, that's something I'm so excited about. And I want to know from you, like, how would you describe KTV? Uh, I mean, it's, it's awesome. You know, I, I, I love what you're doing with, like, your, like, 
because you have your own platform, but the fact that you're able to now expand on that, you know, and expand whatever's in your mind into like 3D, awesome, you know? Wow. And, you know, I would, I'm assuming you have a bunch of like friends, you know, that, that share the same level of influence than you, but they're not doing it. My favorite saying is, if not me, then who? You know, so I feel like you're the perfect person to bring this like, like you know, network to life. You know? ah, well, I'm just so excited because I know people like you and all the other key makers, like that's what keeps me going. It's because I've met people like you, independent of even before I knew Key TV exists, that helped Key TV to come into existence because mm -hmm. I want everyone around the world to know how you think. You said something earlier that I want you to share, like about how you see manifestation. Yeah. I mean, uh, manifestation as of lately, you know, especially on TikTok, it's been a, a heavy buzzword. You know, people are like, oh, manifest this, manifest it, which isn't, which isn't inherently bad. I just feel like there's a level of impatience when it comes to manifestation, you know? There's also um, different words that people use, like the law of assumption instead of the law of manifestation. But uh, when I was talking to you earlier, I gave you the metaphor of a, at a restaurant. You know, when you order food, you order, the waiter comes, you order the food, and then you just wait. You know, there's no point in time where you're just like, hey, like every 10 seconds, hey, where's my food? Hey, is it ready yet? Hey, is it ready yet? Oh, hey, is, is it coming? Eventually it will come and you know, you'll, you'll eat and then you know, leave. Another metaphor I gave you earlier was the GPS metaphor, where it's like, when you put your address in the GPS or a address in the GPS, you trust that GPS enough where it says, yo, 10 miles, go straight, you know? If you're second guessing the GPS and you're like, yo, you know what, I'm gonna exit, three exits early, see if I can get a shortcut. Oh wait, I'm gonna do a U-turn. Maybe well, my mom said this way was the fastest way. Oh, I trust this way. And it's like, if you continue down that path, you know, of just second guessing, you know, like whatever it is you're doing, it, it's gonna take you way longer to get there. Uh, rather than just like, you know, trusting the process, trusting, you know, whatever vision you may have and just, staying persistent, you know? I love when you said that because not only does it encompass trust, but it encompasses faith and just you knowing that what God, what God has for me, mm -hmm. he has for me. I don't have to second guess it. I don't have to, you know, I just love that. And I think, you know, again, it's just like, that is like, if I could put into a bottle what I think all key makers are, it's like, that's how they think. And that's why their creativity is so endless. It's the, the ability to believe and to know that, oh, it's coming, you know, mm -hmm. that perseverance. Um, okay, so, so bottom line, you know, what makes makes Key TV a unique network to you? The fact that you're the head of it all, that's what makes it special to me. You know, if it was anyone else, I'd be like, eh. but it's just <laughs> the fact that it's you, you know, like really like gets me excited, you know, because I, because I, I know how hardworking you are and I know how motivated you are. And like a, w when someone like that is not the team, especially after the, the head of the team, it's like, it's hard to fail. Moses, you're literally about to make me cry. That's why I'm done with you. I'm not <laughs> fucking with you no more. Y'all hate too much. Right. You're the best. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed hearing this incredible story from one of our key makers. Always come back and check out more stories just like this on Key TV and also get into some of our shows. See you soon.